am Willard Weiner, master of the macabre. Sup folks, it's Ray Poopitin the Third with another Infinite Warfare Zombies in Spaceland video. Today I've finally gotten all the footage and definitive information to bring you the Ghost and Skulls Easter Egg Guide. This guide is chock full of tips and secrets I've yet to see in any other guides and is complete with every bit of footage and information to get you through this Easter Egg successfully. While the reward of a permanent perkaholic is a good one, what got me about this egg is the lengthy setup. In order to complete it, you must do the main easter egg, but it is almost imperative you do three of the steps as early as you possibly can. So it is a big commitment when you may just die doing the main egg. If you're not confident with the main egg, I would suggest putting this side egg off and focusing on the guide to beating the alien boss coming up on screen now. Once you're an alien wrecking machine, you're ready for GNS. When you spawn in, pop all the balloons in the starting room. You can pop them with just about anything. Bullets, explosions, and melee all work. I always just toss a nade at them and melee any leftovers. You'll hear this sound upon completion of every GNS step. Now that a step is done, if you go to the arcade, a skull will be lit up on the Ghost and Skulls machine. Upon completion of every step, another skull lights up. The GNS arcade game is located on the upper floor of the arcade in the middle of the back row. The next step is locating the skulls in the letters of the park signs. The goal is to spell out the word ghost. To access every location, you'll need Journey and Kepler open. As soon as you have them open, save a couple of zombies and get on this step. Each letter has two locations. To destroy the skull, just aim down the sights at it for a second or two and it will explode into pixels. Location 1 for the G is on the Galaxy Journey sign in Journey into Space. The second spot for the G is on the Rover Rampage sign above the bumper cars. Next up is the H. The first location is on the Hyper Slope sign above the slides. You can see this one from the bottom of the slide in the main hub of the map. The other location for the H skull is on the Chromosphere sign in the Kepler system. Third we have the O. The first spot is on the Cosmic DJ sign by Bang Bangs. You can see this one from the Magic Wheel location by the Kepler power switch. The other location is on the Journey into Spaceland sign in the main hub of the map. Next up we got the S. You can see both spots for the S from in front of the rover rampage. Open the door in the arcade instead of the door by the Journey Cosmic DJ. It costs less and you won't risk the S being in a spot you cannot see and having to open two doors to finish this step. The first spot I'm going to show you is on the Space Depot sign by Jug. And the second spot is on the Astrocade sign outside the arcade by the Alley Souvenir Station. The final letter T is always in the Kepler system. The first place it can spawn is on the Octonian Hunter sign right once you get up the hill. The other possible location is on the Moonlight Cafe sign by the power switch. Once you get the T, you will hear the completion sound and another skull will light up on the Ghosts and Skulls arcade game. Now to the tricky part. On the Ghosts and Skulls machine is the number 1984 in colored text. This hit corresponds with the tiles on the dance floor. You must get one kill on green, nine kills on blue, eight kills on pink, and four kills on black or the non-lit up tile. Use your inventory screen to your advantage and watch your kill stats to see exactly where you are with each color. If you're about to get overrun, run out of the arcade and train them into a horde and come back. You can get kills when off the tiles, but if you get a kill on the wrong tile of the dance floor, you will need to start over from green. This one can be tricky on higher rounds, so try to get to it as early as possible I aim to get it done by around 4 or 5. Some helpful things to get for this step are Jug, Cryo Grenades, the Forge Freeze, Slappy Taffy, or a strong AR like the NV4 on the arcade wall. It may take a few tries, but once you get it in correctly, you'll hear another completion noise. Sometimes it's hard to hear, so if you think you're done, go check if you have your third skull. If you do, congrats, you're almost there. The next step can be done before or after the egg. If you do it before, the zombies will be a bit slower, which is great because you'll be playing the arcade games. You will need to get a skull for each of the ticket earning games. To do this varies for each game. The easiest by far is the basketball skull. 
Simply sink three baskets in a row. After the second, the skull will appear in the middle of the machine, and when you sink the third, it will explode into pixels just like the sign skulls. Next up is the black hole skull. This one is a bit tricky because not only will you have to land the ball in the 50 slot, but it will need to go straight in because the skull disappears fairly quickly. For the cryptid attack machine, you will have to hit the target with the skull as quickly as you can when it appears. It will appear randomly after you begin and can appear on any of the targets. Zombie zoom can be tricky because not only do you need a lot of time to play it without getting hit by a zombie, but it's very sensitive and if you hold the trigger too long it will come off center. The trick here is to hold the trigger for about a full second, release and repeat holding it for another second as quickly as possible. Luckily the skull is not all the way at the end of the race but appears somewhere near the middle. The hardest one by far is bowling for planets. The skull will appear in any of the holes randomly during your three tosses. The easiest hole to hit by far is the 25 hole. Just aim a bit to the left of dead center since you are right handed and fill the power bar to three fourths full and release. This should give you a gauge for hitting the other holes as well. When I was new to bowling for planets I would come in every round and aim for the 25 for all three tosses and hit the machine until it overheats. Eventually a skull will appear there, there and you'll get it. This machine takes a lot of practice to master. Again, once you get all the skulls you will hear a completion noise and the fourth skull will be lit up. For the fifth step, you will need to complete the main easter egg. Once the boss is defeated and you have put the fuse in the pack-a-punch machine and packed one of your wonder weapons, you will need to grab the sunglasses drop and if you put them on you will see a skull floating back and forth above the teleporter. Just like shooting down the UFO, you will need to shoot all the yellow lights on the Spaceland arc, saving the uppermost light for last. When you see the skull is coming back in towards the teleporter and is one step away from being dead center, wait a second and hit the last light. The beam takes a second to shoot out of the teleporter, so if you time it right, the skull will move over top of it and you will see it get hit by the laser and explode. You will hear another completion noise and the fifth skull will now be lit up. The final step is another tricky one. To activate the final skull and turn on the arcade game, you will need to have a brute hit the Ghosts and Skulls arcade game with his laser. My technique for doing this is to either get the zombies down to just a few and take him up there running around until he shoots his laser and guiding it towards the machine. Or if you're brave and want to do this during the round, you can also just activate the disco ball trap and take him up there. I drop a boom box to take care of any straggler zombies not attracted to the dance floor. Once he hits the machine with his laser, you will hear your last completion noise and the arcade game itself will light up and start to spark. If you look at the screen, all six of the skulls will be lit up and you can now start the game at your convenience. This arcade game is very difficult when you go in with no strategy, but with the help of this guide you should be able to complete it within a few tries. Before I had my strategy down, I attempted this thing probably seven or eight times before I got it, so if you fail, don't worry, it will spit you back out and you can try again the next time a brute spawns. You will just need to turn it on using his laser again. Note, as of now there is a glitch where if you have a wonder weapon and try the game a second time, you will come into the game with the wonder weapon out instead of the laser gun and won't be able to do anything. So unless they patch this, you will want to wait until the end of a round and replace all your wonder weapons with wall weapons before entering the game. Before you go in, know this, if you're playing solo, you will not be able to grab Quick Revive again once you complete this. If you go down, all the perks except Quick Revive will remain, but you will not have an empty perk slot to grab it back afterwards. So you may want to wait to do this easter egg until you have used all of your three revives if you are going for high rounds. When you enter the game, you will see the floor is tiled blue and there are ghosts flying around above. After a bit, a sequence of skulls will fly forward and come to rest on the far side of the area. The goal is to grab ghosts with the laser weapon and send them flying into the skulls, shattering them. Hit every skull in the sequence without letting three skulls escape to move on to the next pattern. One at a time, the skulls will turn red. If you let the red skull go too long, it will fly away towards the portal behind you. If it makes it to the portal, you will see you have an escaped skull in the bottom right of your HUD. If you let three escape, it's game over, but this resets every wave. The skulls will also be shooting at you, so keep moving at all times to avoid these lasers. If you get hit too much by them, you'll go down and get back up, wasting valuable time. 
You'll need to clear five waves of skulls to complete the easter egg and get the permanent perkaholic. Turning on auto aim and aim assist seems to help with grabbing the ghosts which can be a bit frustrating at times. To grab them simply aim at the nearest ghost and hold the right trigger. Aiming down the sights a bit seems to help as well sometimes. Make sure not to focus on just one ghost. If you do not see the blue progress bar start to build up, move on to the next ghost you see. Once you grab a ghost, aim and release the right trigger to send it flying. Time is of the essence here as the skulls are slowly making their way towards you. You can see below the skulls the tiles are turning from blue to red. If the skulls make it all the way to the other side and you run out of the blue tiles, you will also fail the game, so shattering skulls in between the red skulls is key. Pro tip. If you aim perfectly in between two skulls, it is possible to take out two with one ghost. When a red skull is let be for too long, it will begin its journey past you to the portal behind you. It is possible to shatter these skulls while they are on the move, so if you are about to let a third skull escape, be sure and try to hit it on its way out. If you don't see any ghosts in front of you, turn around. Another vital tip is to try to take out the skulls from top to bottom. The higher skulls are harder to get, especially when they get really close and you start to run out of room. You'll be shooting straight up and it is almost impossible to hit them like that. On the fifth and final wave, the pattern will make out the number 60. If you get to this pattern, you are very close. Keep calm and don't panic. If you're quick, you will be able to clear this wave and when you shatter the last skull, you win. Congratulations, you've completed Ghosts and Skulls. When you come back to the arcade, you will see all the perks added to your existing ones, and if you go down, you will keep them. That about sums it up. Thanks for watching. Likes and subs are appreciated. Peace!